All right, I want to start out by saying, do not do this at all unless your pistons are junk and you're not going to use them. So the concept of pressing them off with a press is really easy, but the problem is you have to have some kind of fi uh, fixture, some kind of uh, tool to actually get it done. All right, so I spent hours trying to look for something, so maybe this could save somebody some time if they need to do this. This is what I'm using. Most presses come with these plates. My plates didn't have a deep enough cutout to actually do this, so I took a grinder and I just shaped this out a little bit. That way when you put it right there, it has room to go through there versus just barely getting on the edge of it. Here goes the other part. This, this extension right here, it's a half inch extension. The whole thing was three inches long. You should probably use one a little bit longer. Okay, so I have this little piece of square tubing stuck in there. It's probably, I don't know, it looks like 16 gauge or something. It's like a little half inch square tubing. I cut a piece of it off. I kind of crushed it in a vise and then tapped it in. And it's like it's stuck in there pretty good. The next thing I did was I got a junk wrist pin and I kind of tapped it in there. Spun it a little bit till it loosened up. And that's what's going to keep my extension centered on the wrist pin. The next thing I did, I got a 27 millimeter socket, put it on here. This fits the, um, I don't even know what it's called, but that rod that comes down on the press. It fits in there kind of loose, but it, I think it's better than nothing. I already pressed one of these out. It worked okay, but the only problem that I actually ran into is that whenever you have it inside here and you go all the way down with it, that actually touched and all it did was kind of went sideways it didn't it didn't crack it but you know that definitely would probably ruin a piston real easy but like I said these are junk anyway if I was planning on reusing them or these were good pistons I would I would take them to a machine shop and let them do it all right so I'm about to demonstrate how this little thing I made works and then I'll talk about my project a little bit or something okay so that problem I explained about this going in and hitting what I'm gonna do is once it gets down far enough, I'm just going to take that off and try to press the, the rest of it out. It's only going to have about that much to go. Something like that. Alright, got my face shield ready. Before doing this, I'm going to spray a little bit of PB Blaster in there. Alright. Got to make sure this is centered. And it is. I used my phone. I just stuck it under there on forward camera and I could see it. Alright, to get an idea how much force that takes to break that loose, it's really not that much. It's no tighter than like, let's say like bearings on a pinion shaft or like bearing retainers on the axles. It's, it's uh, stuff like that. It's really not much tighter. It's about the same. And this is only a 12 ton press. So like, I feel like it's not even really uh, putting that much of a strain on it. Remember to watch this part. This is going to hit that. But right before it does, I'm going to take the socket off. almost touching. I actually haven't done it like this yet, but it only has a little bit to go. And there you go. It's, and there you go. It's done. We'll go look at it on the table. All right, here goes it pissing. See how that fits in there? It probably doesn't even touch the rod. The rod looks fine. If you lay, lay it on another one, I don't think it's bent at all. I think it's good. 
the, the piston looks good too. I don't remember how tight it was whenever I first grabbed it, but that's kind of not good. I actually think that one was a little bit tight whenever I, I you know, first started. Anyway, there you go. So what am I doing with this array of parts? I'm building a 305, and these rods right here, some, it's a set of rods over here. It's a set, a set of eight. Somebody mismatched the rod caps. This is part of that. This is part of that. Um, part of that group. This over here. I got another set right here. This is the set I'm using. Except for I have the number eight. This rod right here. This rod right here had this spun bearing in it. So, I don't want to use this one because it probably got hot. I don't know. So, that's what I'm doing. I'm just pressing these off so I could scrap the aluminum because it's trash. And the rods, it'll kind of reduce the space. I'll throw the rods in a box and decide later what I want to do to them. They'll probably get scrapped too. But, I have all these other pistons, especially this one that happens to be snap number eight out of a different engine and the rods look exactly the same they have little X's on them right here and that's like all the ones that I have oh that's ground down a little bit too much I don't know but the object the 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 goal is to find another rod that weighs exactly the same and appears to be the closest thing to this possible to replace it with that's what I'm doing that's the whole purpose of pressing all these pistons off and you see, and if you took if you took that to the machine shop, that's not really practical because they're going to charge you five dollars a piston to go search through that. If you told them, yeah, um, find me a rod that weighs the same, they're not even going to want to deal with that. At least not a normal machine shop. Actually, when I got all these pressed off, I told the machine, I told the guys, I told the guys I, uh, to give me back all my parts so that way I can weigh them so I can evaluate whether or not I want to get it balanced. In other words, if all the replacement parts weigh the same, I'm not going to balance it. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not there yet. I don't even care. I'll worry about that later. But they threw all my parts away, except for my rods. Thanks, I guess. I mean, it was junk, but I wanted to weigh it, though. But they did give me, uh, they did give me two back as examples, so maybe, you know, maybe they already knew that they all weighed. Anyway, whatever. I ain't really, that's not even a big deal. But yeah, I was like, man, they, then they kept my milk crate. I had a milk crate that I've always put pistons in for probably the last 20 years. It was just a plastic milk crate, but yeah, I've always put parts in it. They were just jealous of how cool I was. It didn't, it didn't crack the piston. It looks fine. And the fact the wrist pin, like I said, I don't remember, but I think it was a little bit of tight. You, it'll probably show up on the video if it was, was kind of tight. You see like this one? I think it might have been a little bit tight already. All right, before I end this video, I just want to add something to it real quick. There's probably going to be people in the comments talking about uh, you have to add heat to take them off, okay? This is just my opinion. I don't know this for 100%, but, hear me, but, but check this one out. Obviously, we already know that machine shops use a rod oven to heat the rod to make it get bigger to put the pin in. The rod oven has two torches. The rod oven has two torches that come in like this. Right? They're not going you can't use that if the piston's there. So obviously they don't use the same rod oven. And I don't think I think most machine shops press them out at room temperature without heating them or anything. But like I said, I'm not hundred percent sure and also if you're trying to heat this the concept is that the pin is cold and the rod is hot and expands and it slides in well if you're heating it with it together isn't it both going to expand um, 
I mean, I definitely can see how you could heat, concentrate the heat a little bit more on the rod, whatever, but I don't, I don't really think, I don't know. But that's just my opinion on it. I'm pretty sure that even the machine shops, they don't, they don't heat it. They just press them out. But obviously, to put them in, they heat them. Anyway, that's, that's, just, that's just my opinion, so don't, you know, I can't guarantee that. Anyway, that's going to conclude my video. If you like this video or found it helpful, please like and subscribe the end.